Manchester United were given a harsh reality check at Old Trafford as Alex Awobi's injury time effort gave Fulham only their second Old Trafford victory since 1963. Four days after new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe spoke of United attempting to knock Manchester City and Liverpool off their perch at the top of the English game, they suffered a major blow to their hopes of Champions League qualification. Without injured striker Rasmus Hoyland, the hosts were ineffective in attack until the final minute of normal time, when Harry Maguire seemed to have rescued a point for the hosts. But Iwobi had the final say deep into nine minutes of stoppage time, restoring an advantage initially given to them by Nigeria defender Calvin Bassey, who lashed home the loose ball after his header from a Fulham corner had been blocked by teammate Timothy Castain. The result ended a run of 11 Premier League away games without a win for the West London outfit. Prior to this contest, only Sheffield United had a worse top flight away record this term. Neither the defeat nor, more importantly, the performance, will give anyone the belief United will achieve Ratcliffe's lofty aims anytime soon. There have been a lot of bold claims out of Old Trafford this week. Ratcliffe has spoken of challenging for major trophies, while Ten Hag has outlined how he and the new co-ownership are aligned in their thinking and the overall direction is positive. There is nothing like a miserable grey, cold, wet Manchester day to add a large dollop of reality to the situation United find themselves in. With injury consigning in form Hoyland to the directors, box, Marcus Rashford was forced to plough a lone furrow up front and made little impact. Ten Hag gave 19-year-old Omari Forsen his first start rather than bring in underperforming £82 million Brazilian Antony, while Victor Lindelof filled in at left back in the absence of Luke Shaw, who is set to miss the remainder of the campaign with a muscle problem. The performance did not smack of a side capable of securing Champions League football next season, which Ratcliffe has made a priority, let alone threatening Manchester City, Liverpool and Arsenal, who are a long way ahead on this evidence. Ineos head of sport, and new United Football Club director, Sir Dave Brailsford was at Old Trafford to see United roar back from 2-0 down to beat Aston Villa on Boxing Day, one of two occasions this season when they had rolled back the years to produce a comeback of thrilling defiance. When Maguire pounced in the final minute of normal time, it seemed another might be on the cards. United hardly deserved parity, other than a first-half Diogo Dalit shot that flicked off the outside of a post, Marcus Rashford's angled effort that Leno saved and a Maguire header that sailed over the bar, they had done little of any effectiveness around the Fulham box. As it turned out, it was to be Fulham who had the final word. Today, there was no papering over the old Trafford cracks. It is almost 12 months since Fulham's visit to this stadium for an FA Cup tie that ended in chaos as manager Marco Silva and two of his players were sent off, and what was shaping up to be a famous victory turned into a controversial defeat. While the visitors mercifully avoided any repeat of that discipline breakdown, they were forced to endure more frustration in a first half they dominated without being able to take one of the numerous chances that came their way. In exploiting the space available in front of the United backline in transition, Fulham were given the freedom to get clear sights of goal. Awobi had two opportunities, the second in particular he should have done better with. Andre Onana saved from Rodrigo Munez and former United midfielder Andreas Pereira. The Cameroon keeper probably earned his luck in the first instance, when the rebound struck Sasalu kick at close range and the ball bounced inches wide. Munez, aiming to become the fourth Fulham player, after Luis Saha, Collins John and Manor Solomon, to score in four successive Premier League games, rolled Lindelof in the penalty area, then fired against the outside of a post with Onana beaten. At the interval, the fear among the visiting contingent must have been that, after being so flat for so long, their hosts had to improve. But they didn't and Bassey lashed home his first Fulham goal with a decisiveness lacking from United's play. Even after Maguire's leveller, Fulham would not be denied as Awobi finally found the target to give the Cottagers a famous win. Please follow and subscribe to our channel for more updates.